Welcome to Design Dilemmas by Chen Designs, a series where I help my followers solve their interior space problems so they can go live their best life. To kickstart today's series, I'm going to help my boyfriend's parents with their basement renovation project. They are building a new built house located in Vancouver, Canada, and they needed some help with the basement. They're thinking of turning the basement into suites to rent out to either young working professionals or university students as an additional source of income for their lives after retirement. If you're currently watching this and you're struggling with an interior space, DM me on Instagram at Chen Designs and that's Chad. I'm looking for submissions for my next few videos. And now let's dive into the space. This is the basement layout. There are three units and we're going to focus on suite number one today. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. Immediately, the biggest problem with this space is the circulation, especially the circulation of the kitchen. The person who lives in the master bedroom has to go across the kitchen every single time to get to their bedroom and it's super awkward for the other person as well. I saw a video from Dear Modern a while back talking about this exact issue. I honestly couldn't believe it when I saw this floor plan myself. So let's fix this. First, I would move the exterior staircase. This opens up our common area immediately. Then, I want to adjust the washroom locations to minimize the circulation. For the master bedroom, I'm going to place its washroom to the left side and place the second set of washroom just north of the room. Going to the washroom is very intimate, so I want to keep these spaces closer together on one side of the apartment. I'm going to push the staircase a little bit to the left to open up a walkway for our apartment. Then I'm going to block off these walls because this is where I'm going to place the new kitchen. Because this is a rental apartment, so we really don't need this much closet space for one person. We will split it into standard sizes and give the second half of the closet to the bedroom next door. This gives me an opportunity to introduce a full wall and there's so much we can do with it such as having a projected screen TV with storage spaces below it or an art moment. For the new kitchen, I want to create an unshaped kitchen. Not only does this introduce more storage, it is also tucked to the side and won't block the circulation around the house. Then I'm going to place a few furniture pieces such as an L-shaped sofa with a small coffee table, round dining table sets, and give both bedrooms some basic furniture layouts. And here it is, the new apartment layout. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you find the information helpful. Comment down below on how you think I did, and I will see you in the next one.